I'm Michaela Chavez, your neighborhood news reporter in Claiborne County. There's a shortage of prosecutors in the state of Texas, and Claiborne County is no exception. The county is experiencing what they call a temporary shortage, but its impacts could be felt later. Claiborne County usually has four prosecutors and District Attorney John Hubert, but right now they're down two. That leaves not a whole lot of extra uh, space for the rest of us. So if I have a prosecutor that needs to go out for a family issue or something else, it really tightens it down that much further. A long stretch of Highway 77 is part of the county, which means cases stack up quick. We interdict a lot of smuggling. We interdict a lot of uh, drugs and to some degree guns and money, but mostly human smuggling at this point. Hubert says they aren't getting the cases as fast as they would like, which could start to cram the county jail. If you can get them evaluated, if you can either get them dismissed, you can get that process moving faster. So if they're going to plea, you can get that done and you can get them either out of jail and on probation and, and back into the life and, and obeying the law, or you can, if necessary, send them to prison as fast as possible. And a smaller crew also means less time to evaluate a case. Hubert says less evaluation means more, less quality cases will go to trial. Evaluation of a case is so incredibly important to spot the holes, to spot the deficiencies. The county worked with Governor Greg Abbott to pay their workers adequately, but even with that on their side, the struggle continues. There's also uh, a higher burnout rate. Uh, you take more cases home to evaluate. The burnout rate goes, which increases the shortage, which increases the burnout, which is increases, decreases the time for evaluation, and it's a vicious cycle. Claiborne County is still in need of one more prosecutor, but if needed, Claiborne County will call other nearby counties to assist with cases. In your neighborhood, I'm Michaela Chavez in Claiborne County, Chris 6 News.